Anna Elspeta Korolczuk and uh, I'm a sociologist working at Sudorkowin University. I study social movements uh, in Poland. And right now it's a very good moment to study them because we have uh, since 2015 when populist right-wing party law and justice came to power, we have an outpour of social mobilizations. So the current government started to introduce major changes. Uh, these reforms include, among others, attempts to paralyze a constitutional court, taking total control over public media, strengthening surveillance over citizens, uh, and also attempts at introducing a total abortion ban and uh, also taking over the court. I think that especially the parliamentary opposition um, does not really have a clear vision of the future. So they are stuck in the position of the defenders of the past. Uh, Extra-parliamentary opposition, social movements representatives, I think they have quite a lot of um, initiatives and ideas, but they are not that good at um, promoting them. Uh, and as a result, they act mostly reactively and not very much proactively. And this is something which needs to be addressed. Secondly, the question of security. Uh, I think that the opposition really fails to address human need for security, basically. And uh, right-wing populists are unfortunately very good at strengthening people's sense of insecurity, uh, both in economic terms and in terms of cultural identity. To this, the opposition says there is nothing to be worried about, but that's not how it works. Um, it is important how people feel about things, not only what the facts are. The left should really not discard uh, the need for myths, symbols, narratives around people can gather. Uh, what we need are stories about the world, about the future, which will merge the clarity of the message with emotional strength. We need convincingly told stories about, uh, you know, how we imagine the future to become. And in that sense, uh, the culture is very important, not only as a tool, but also as a vessel of those stories.